Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on Grizz TV. My name is Neil Rule here with Greg Campy after a 92-74 win over Robert Morris in Moon Township, Pennsylvania coach. And uh, you guys fell behind by as many as nine in that first half. Got the lead going into the halftime locker room in the second half, one going away. Yeah, we we uh, we had nothing. And like I said in the post game, Neil, part of this falling behind was my fault because you know as coaches, you make three or four decisions in a game that affect the outcome of the game. You don't you don't win or lose because of coaching. Um, well, let me see. You you don't win because of coaching. You can lose because of coaching. And I made a really bad decision in that um, we we had nothing, and we had traveled all over the country, been on the road twelve days, got home two days later, get on the road again, and we had no legs. And so I thought brilliantly that let's pick it up full court run and jump get this thing going get our juices going and all it did was give them run outs and layups and then once we fell behind and, and they had like 75 dunks then we decided let's just play solid and i put two freshmen in in xavier and brad and they those two guys are energy guys high motor guys and they brought great energy and they took everybody along with them and just like that we got the lead um struggled a little bit early in the second half but when you give a team that's playing a home game for the first time in a long time uh, some momentum and belief, they played like we thought they could. Their kid had an unbelievable game. What did he end up with? Thirty-five. I think. Thirty-five. It was. Yeah, he was. And you know, we we guarded him the second half. The first half we didn't guard him, but the second half. So, looking at that and that we were able to pull away and Max, you know, that zone was going to wear down because of our style of play, we knew that eventually we would get the ball where we want against that zone, and we did, and then Max got it going and made three or four threes in a row, and we broke that up to a double-digit lead, and, and then we guarded. I mean, they had, we shot they shot 20-some percent the second half for the game. They shot 23 from the three, um, and this is a game that, you know, first time all year we didn't make free throws. Uh, you know, we're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country. We probably missed more free throws today combined than we had all year. So you put all that stuff together and you walk away on the road with a, you know, double-digit victory, you have to feel really, really good about yourself. Yeah, certainly, Coach, and, and you brought it up. You talked about Brad and, and Xavier. I mean, those two guys, they, they did exactly what you expect them to do. I mean, Xavier really is embracing that kind of that junkyard dog mentality. You know, he, he had seven rebounds in 11 minutes. You know, he put that out to a 40-minute game, and, and, you know, that's 20 rebounds. So. Um, you got pretty that, good math on the yeah, top of your head like that. Yeah, well, it's just a guess. I, I doubt anybody's going to check me on it. But you, you have to be really excited with that. And, and he defended pretty well. And, you know, we, we figured the zone out. And, you know, we played two teams. We played zone the whole year. I mean, the whole game this year. And we scored 92 and 91. And, uh, you know, most teams aren't going to do that against the zone. So I, I think that we feel really good when we see a zone. All right, Coach. Certainly do appreciate the time. We'll get back on the plane. Home game Monday night. Yep. And that's one we got to get. All right, Coach. Talk to you soon. Yep.